I'm back again back in the building let's go I'm not gonna waste any time I'm going straight in Infinity Blade 3 the Asura's Rising update debacle now you go on the internet and google Infinity Blade 3 Asura's Rising and the internet is quiet you can hear a pin drop everyone's talking like it's so beautiful like it's so nice and there's no problems now you go underneath the surface and you will see that it is riddled with errors and problems and mistakes and colossal fuck ups the update has deleted people's save data mine included and I am pissed I am pissed I've been playing Infinity Blade 3 since it came out I played it almost every single no, I've literally played it every single day since it came out. On my way to work, my bus journey is 40 minutes. I play it there. Then when I'm waiting at the train station, I'm playing it. And then one hour bus train journey, I'm playing Infinity Blade 3. And I enjoy it. The customization, the armors, the weapons, updating my skills, becoming strong, busting up level 500, 700, deathless. No problem. Deathless that is very 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 tough. I make them like easy work. Because the amount of work that I put in. Now the game cost £5. It didn't cost me £5. It's actually cost me over £37. You know why? Because I actually did really really like that game. I loved that game. And I endorsed it to everybody that I knew. And got at least 16 of my friends to buy that game. And I told anybody that would listen. That the game was godlike. On my original YouTube, I had a review on Infinity Blade 1, 2 and 3. That YouTube is gone by the way, because of YouTube's ID content, the new system, it got me. I got the copyright strikes and the third party content on my YouTube got shut down. So I've had to start a new one, we ain't going into that. So those reviews that I had, and I talked a lot of people into getting those games, a lot of good comments, a lot of good thumbs up lot of endorsement is very good you know I love that's why I loved it then I endorsed it and I supported it and I got a lot of people to get the game because I thought the game was beautiful and people that don't know should get to know that's how I felt and I'm the type of person that believes if you like a game a film music technology a maker be it a filmmaker or whatever developer producer you got to support them you vote with your wallet if you show them that you love their work and you're prepared to support them, don't you realise that you put them in business? If you keep them in business, then they can make more business which allows them to make more of the product that you like. That's the reason why I've always endorsed Chair. Regardless of how people say that they're money grubbing or they're scoundrels or they're um, wolves in sheep's clothing you know, I've always supported them and I've always endorsed them and said, yeah, they're good. Look at Infinity Blade 3, that game is godlike. Play the game, amazing cutscenes, godlike story, wonderful game. But Chair, they've become the deathless. They've slowly become the deathless warlords and they're trying to caress the throats of humanity. I'm going to give the internet power to the people. I'm going to give the power people a mighty sword in which to strike back against the warlord deathless chair. Now I went on the internet and as I said, nobody said anything. It's like everything is so nice and calm. And you got the new customers to Infinity Blade 3 are saying I've got no problems. Everything is fantastic. Well they won't have any problems because they just bought it. It only works if you have save data that you've been playing for over a year. Like me and thousands of other people. I looked on the leaderboards and I saw almost a million people. Out of a million people, I'm positive over 500,000 people have been affected by this. 500,000 people are not on Infinity Blade Facebook because face their Facebook has only got 1.6 thousand people that have liked it but still, still a lot of people so some, a lot of people that are on there are still being affected by it I want to hear your opinions I want to hear your stories my story was literally, I was playing Infinity Blade 3 on the 18th of December 2013 in the night time I was on the last stage went to bed, so I was going to get ready for work 
Woke up next morning, 19th of December, updated it. All of a sudden, it took me back to the intro that I had to sit through. Gave me a tutorial again. Got to Cyrus. I had level one equipment. And my 14 million gold was replaced with 1,200 gold. All my tokens, gone. I spent so much money on that game. So much money. Over 37 pounds I spent on that game. Buying credits and tokens. Not because I needed them. Because I'll spend 6 million like that. It's nothing to me. Just because I can. And I'll get back that 6 million in 2 days. It's nothing to me. Because I pay that game so much. You know, even on my lunch break. Even on my lunch break. I'm playing Infinity Blade 3. As I told you, on my way to work. I play that game. On my way home, I play that game. And on my break and lunch break, I play that game. If I'm not playing Ultimar vs Capcom 3 tournament videos or Street Fighter uh, Arcade Edition videos or Metal Gear Rising videos, run-throughs of me playing that game, I am playing Infinity Blade 3 because that game is so good. It's so fun. I enjoy the game. I enjoy the hideouts. I enjoy everything about that game. But now, the love has turned to hate because I'm pissed. I'm not a victim. I will not be made a victim by the deathless warlord chair that have tried to oppress the people. Power to the people. Chair, I'm talking to you. You're nothing without the people that put you there. You ain't more powerful than the people. You ain't more powerful than the people, man. The people are the ones that put you where you are. And yet you try to ignore us. On Twitter, you put a message on Twitter, they ignore you. This a, a bot, a robot, sent you an automated message saying go to the FAQ forums. There's some explanation about how the problem is not working because your cloud is not synced or you haven't switched the cloud savings on or iCloud or if you've saved a third party save storage facility. You tell me, where is there an option to save? On Infinity Bed, where is the option to save? Like in the RPG, there isn't one, so don't talk shit. The only way it saves is through cloud, it automatically does it through cloud. If there was an option where you could manually save, I would manually save all the time. I'd have like a billion saves. You should see my Final Fantasy saves. I've got like about a million saves on Final Fantasy. I've got like a hundred memory cards because I save certain situations. I always save because save date is important. When you're going out with a girl and you split up with her, what's the first thing she's going to do? She's going to cut up your jacket, destroy your television, Fuck up your games console, or break one of your games, or fuck up your memory card, because girls know, don't fuck with a man's save data, his video games, or his technology, that shit hurts, that shit hurts, more than a breakup, that shit hurts. So you tell me chair, why is your update, your DLC, why is that fucking with my save, why is that fucking with my shit? The save is a representation of my hard work. Of all our hard work, all the progress that we've made in that game, why is your update fucking with that? Surely, you should have ran tests. When you had your update, you were ready to put it live onto the servers for people to update it. You should have had a phone, an iPhone, a couple iPhones, and update it to those iPhones to test it. And surely an error must have come up. Then, you should maybe tell the people on Twitter, on Facebook that this could happen so these are the procedures that you have to go through or you might have to take these extra steps to make sure that an error doesn't occur and if it does you're safe I updated it thinking everything was going to be fine so all my work is gone all my work is gone the money I've invested into that game, not because I needed to invest that money, because I needed that gold, all those tokens. It was a thank you to you, Chair. It was a thank you to saying thank you for making such a beautiful game, and I want to keep on giving you money so you can make more Clash Mob Hunts. Um, I was always retweeting you, I was always bigging you up to my friends, over 16 friends that I've got into that game. You know, as I said on my original YouTube, I got that had like over 500,000 views. So not, I did see, I had that maybe one or two um, thumbs downs on the reviews, but mostly it was so much love for that and the way I reviewed it, you know. Now, I don't give a fuck about Cyrus. I don't give a fuck about Issa. 
I hell I'm salty. I'm pissed. I ain't playing that game again. I am not playing that rinky dinky shit, Infinity Blade. I don't give a fuck about Asura's Rising. What's all that bullshit to happen again? For me to invest that all that time. And then for that, a risk of that type of... No chance. That ain't happening. I'm done. I'm over it. I've got better things to do with my time. Much better things to do with my time. I'm going to play Infinity Blade 3 and risk all my save date and getting um, done again. Because I use work gone. 37 pounds down the toilet. And then when I message you on Twitter, all I get is an automated message from a robot. A copy-paste message that you didn't actually even reply to me either. Or Facebook. Automated copy-paste messages. Disrespectful. As long as you get new fans though, right? As long as you get new customers, right? As long as you get that. Fuck the old people that bought it. Internet. I'm talking to you. I'm giving you a mighty sword in which to strike back against chair. There's nowhere to talk to about this other than on Twitter or Facebook. Here's the forum, right down there, the comment section. Show Chair this, because I'll will send this to Chair on Google+, Plus, on Facebook and Twitter. And I'll regularly show them, look what the people are saying. Look at all the thumbs up, look at all this stuff. You're ignoring us, there's a lot of people that have been affected by this. And all your... FAQs, that's not solving the problem, because I've done everything, they said oh, it was a server problem, it's been 3-4 days, where's, where, where's my save data, where's my data, gone, I'm not playing Infinity Blade, I'm done, I'm not going to be a victim, and I'm not going to take it, I'm not just going to roll over and allow that to happen, I am pissed, that doesn't mean anything to me, that doesn't mean anything to me, when they say all this kind of stuff like there's um, 80 new items, 8 new skills, new equipment, new armor, it doesn't mean nothing to me because I'm not playing that game again. I'm not going to go through all that rubbish again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. That's long. That is long. So, I'm over it. I'm over it. I mean, I'm still pissed because I look at Infinity Blade 3 and it's got so much potential because I actually did like that game a lot but I'm never going to endorse that game again I'm never going to talk about that game again I'm over it I'm over it I am done I'm done I've unretweeted all my tweets I've done all that kind of stuff that's the thing if you fuck with me if you fuck me I'll fuck you I'll fuck you too back count on it so I'm done I'm done by the way um, I just want the internet to know that power to the people we put them there we make them as powerful as they are and we can show them that the power give up the, the people give up the power and the people can take away the power so we have to show them that our collective voice can shake the pillars of their foundations that a trembling hand can become a mighty fist to strike back against those that would try to oppress us. That is Chair. The deathless. Chair have become the deathless. That are trying to crest the throats of humanity. So now I give everybody the shining sword in which to strike back against Chair deathless. Let's do this people. Let's go. And I will show Chair these messages and your comments and your thumbs up to show you how passionate you guys are and how many thousands of people have been affected by this. And it's not just one, two or tens, it's thousands of people that have been affected by this and they cannot ignore us. So, I hope to hear from you internet and... Until my next video, you know, and you can subscribe to me and thumbs up this and whatever and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. So, hopefully our voices will be heard and we can just do some more stuff and let Chair know that they can't just walk all over us and ignore us and send us automated ro messages from some robots and copy paste us and just try to brush us underneath the carpet because they're getting new customers because we're the thousands of customers that gave them their service and all their money and all everything in the first place so internet power to the people power to the people chair you're nothing about us people let's go